So, on my way up north, I triggered a hidden package. So, <clears throat> we're going to be starting up the video with that. So, hi guys, this is Guy Christian Dyer here with Let's Play Infamous in the last episode. <clears throat> my throat's not clearing up. Um, we got a Transformer, hide anything from and you. we did Zeke's request. Basically. So, obviously in this one, there's going to be a whole slew of side quests, I believe, that we're going to have to be dealing with, so... I guess we'll just have to, you know, probably going to have to spend an episode or two just knocking them all out, depending upon how many there are. There's really no way to tell how many there are until I do the satellite uplinks, so... Also, I don't know why my thro uh, throat is sounding so raspy. I I'm not actually dry. Let's see, where is it? I think I have to go through this. We have to go through this uh, little thing prematurely because this is actually part of a major side. Uh, I, I mean, a major mission that I'm going through right now. Now, luckily, there's no enemies here right now, so that's very good news. But uh, this one, I'm trying to remember exactly where it is. Um, you know what? Let's think, make things easier on myself. Disable these turrets. I figure I get these now rather than have to deal with them later. So, yeah. Hooray! <laughs> uh, okay, I have to go further up, I believe. I mean, we're officially in the circle, but, uh... Yeah. Go up here, and then go up here. I think it's just within the border of the circle. Yeah, there it is right there. Alright, so it's another five blast shards. And of course our first mission complete, so that's hexagon right there. Alright, uh, let's see here. Let's get up to the top. That way I can just fly myself over to the satellite uplinks. Also there's a yeah, I thought I heard a dead drop. Change in assignment. I'm now tasked mm. with protecting a woman named Sasha. Oh, hey, Sasha. Supposedly researching mind control techniques. Something with a spray or a gel. My gut tells me she's a honeypot, so I'll need to be careful around her. Alright, that was relatively short. Alright, so let's see how far we can... How close we can get to this satellite plane. Not very close. Yeah. Alright, I have to be careful like the... Black House Zone is literally right across the corner. As a, it's literally right on top of me. Let's see. And we gotta go even further up. Alright, uh... Now this might be the satellite uplinks that I've been not looking forward to, basically. Because there's one in particular in the war- uh, Like, I've said this before. Oh, hey, it's Dustin. Oh, let's uh, get the yeah blast and bolt. But uh, there's one in particular that I always seem to have a lot of trouble on. All right, I don't have time to deal with you. All right, next one's over there. Oh, luckily there's a wire here. Yeah, you pretty much have to rely on these wires. Like, you have to find one in order to get to anywhere in time. Nope. Nope. Oh, don't want to do that. Okay, and that's it. And actually, that kind of helped us, because that put us a lot closer to... Oh, uh, well, there might be some side missions over there, so that might actually be bad. Alright, let's see the damage, I guess. Yeah, I thought there was another dead drop. See, I can hear these things. Audio recording of Kessler follows. Test subject number 345A is exhibiting remarkable signs of progress. The pituitary region of the brain has grown by 39%, and small muscle regeneration is nearly instantaneous. I do have some concerns with the lack of proper blood flow to the lower extremities. Oxygen absorption in those areas is off by 3.6%. A rather substantial decrease that could impact the subject's performance. 
We'll need to perform more tests. Alright, so we're getting to the stuff there. Alright, so there's two over there. I guess I'll just start going after those. Then I can save the uh southern ones for next, because they're all pretty much grouped up right next to each other. I mean plus the guys right well actually no, you weren't on the radar. So I guess I'll be taking care of you first. My building. Deal with it. Oh, fine. Sorry. One of you did like that. <laughs> we just push her over. <laughs> All right. So what is, is? Yeah, this is building right here. I can see the red lights. So 14. Jeez, the numbers going up. It's not good. Also, can we jump properly, please? Drop. There we go. Where's the next one? I don't see one. Oh, there, there's one. So, let's see. So I've made some progress in Fable, in case anyone's wondering. Um, basically up to the arena now. I'm, I'm making quick progress, I would say. The game does go... Like, if anyone's ever played Fable before, the game can go pretty quickly if you stick to the, uh... free flash chart. If you stick to the, um, main plots a bit. I hate. I'm, I'm. I don't know. I'm just glad I'm like far away from the missions that I hate the most, which is the Darkwood one and the uh, Hob Cave. I hate the Hob Cave mission so much. Also, I'm getting mission and quest confused again. <laughs> also, I think this is the building that's kind of weird. Like, it's like not really just like one building, but like a whole conglomerate of buildings. Yeah, there's one there. Yeah, I think this is that building. So that car, uh, that probably explains the, the increased number. Also, another blast shard. Yeah, there you are. I thought I saw a red dot uh, or a red light. I mean, it's going pretty well. I mean, I have to give it to the the developers though of the engine. It the game does look just remarkable. Like, in just some of the changes. Like, probably Twinblade, probably one of the biggest examples. Because he actually looks kind of menacing. Like, he, he looks even more menacing than he did in the original game. Which is... I have to give them credit for that. That's actually pretty impressive. Though... Well, I don't know. I don't know if, um... Because, like, when I think about the anniversary series of games... Because, like, it, it's going to be a series of Xbox things. Because... I mean, I just feel like that's, that's just going to be a thing. Like, I imagine Halo 2 is probably going to get an anniversary thing at some point. Because, I mean, the servers on that game were closed. So, and I know people love, like, Halo 2 was pretty much, that's where multiplayer first-person shoot, oh, shoot. Oh, didn't mean to do that. But, I mean, that's where first-person shooters really got off, uh, off, like, also, that was kind of good that I fell off. But yeah, I mean, it, oh, I had to compare anniversaries, and like one of the biggest things about the Halo anniversary was the whole being able to switch between the new graphics and the old graphics, and Fable doesn't do that, which I'm not crying like spilled milk for that. I mean, it's not really something that would be um, missed, I suppose. I am getting used to the, to the combat styling, though. The Fable 2 one. I actually tried switching back to the uh, uh, the original Fable one. And I... S where is the last one? Where is the last one? I'm actually kind of curious. Uh, I guess it wants to be down, if not up. Oh, there you are. But, uh, yeah, I, I've played so much of the game in the Fable 2 and Fable 3 mode that I actually can't adjust back to the Fable 1 mode. So, I guess I will say that the redone controls of the game improve the game. I guess I should, I, I could say that. I mean, I don't like what they did with the will because I, I don't see what could have stopped them from having three will at a time. Versus one. Like, have... You have one will spell on the B button. Like, assigned to the B button. But when you hold down the... Tr uh, I don't know what that point just was. Probably a person. But, um... When you hold down the trigger... 
and bring up all your will spells. I don't see why you can't like access three different spells right there. Oh, maybe they just want things to be consistent or something. Also, you guys are very annoying. But there's my little tidbit about ha uh, Fable for the for the day. Because <laughs> we're done with the uh, kind of surveillance. Alright, so what's our next one? Photographer. Alright, so hopefully this guy doesn't trip and fall again and we fail the mission. Alright, so... Defeat the masked enemies. Or marked enemies, what am I saying? Uh, okay, he's not really following. Alright, I'm probably gonna have to clean up those guys before I continue. Oh, why was it going up there? Alright, next, uh, still defeat the marked enemies. Alright, well done. Drain electricity from an object. Alright, simple enough. That shock got ruined. <laughs> oh, we have to do it twice. Okay. Uh, just wait a little bit and. Just do that again. There we go. Now we got a slightly better shot. Alright, what's next? Perform a thunder drop. Alright. This one's fairly easy to do. All you really have to do is just jump and press square. So, I mean, don't. Oh, I guess it's a delay. Don't you don't have to climb up the buildings. I, I learned that the hard way initially. Like the first, like I thought I had to go up a building and then thunder drop off of it. Yeah, okay, there we go. All right, so we got something else to do. All right, what do we have to do? Before an induction grind. All right, well. Because this wire is this, so I guess I'll be going up uh, first. Take care of. Th There's an explodey guy somewhere. There he is. Okay. I think we're all safe. I hear another one. Oh, there he is. There we go. Alright, just gotta climb up here. Hopefully, no more spawns so that my friend doesn't get injured. Yeah, keep it up. Just need a few more oh, we gotta do one more. Shoot. Alright. There we go. And that's mission complete. So that won't take a little bit longer than the last one, but... Nah. Alright, so we're, we're just getting random patches everywhere now. So let's just continue on, I guess. I mean, nothing really else to do. Whoa, that really propelled me. Alright, so we want to go to this next one over here. This looks like to be the last one over in this area. Although I have to wonder, because that one counter surveillance just kind of popped up. Also, I want to avoid that, because I know a ton of enemies spawn whenever you go into that circle. Let's see. Oh, shoot. It is in the circle. Alright, well... Yeah, they spawn. Yeah, they just kind of come out of nowhere. There we go. At least we're getting rid of the shields. Except for him. There we go. Also, that only gave me 5 XP. Whoa, I took out- Whoa! 5 in a row! Oh shoot, I'm about to die. Okay, I think that's all of them. Alright, now we can recharge and get L train on the way. The dust men are camping out on the train track. You should clear them out. Get the train moving again. Now, L train. These side missions are pretty much a copy paste of what that one story mission was. I also heard that. You can't get me. I don't know where I was going with that. But, um, it's, yeah, it's basically a copy-paste of the story mission that involved uh, moving the train from the Reaper area. So first we've got to clear off the track. Oh, come on. Alright. I don't know how they're getting these cars on here, but yeah, you basically get on these things. Every now and then the train will stop, and you have to either clear the tracks or recharge the thing. In this case, it's clear the tracks, but there's some dustmen. 
Stop that. Alright, I'm getting I'm getting shot from everywhere. Oh, this guy's actually on the tracks. Okay. Let's recharge and get these things off. Yeah, I that's what I was trying to be careful about. The shockwave can actually trigger damage in cars, so you want to be really careful. Let's just take this train out of here. And recharge our health back. The feeder box is on the other end uh. of the tunnel. You're gonna have to charge it. All right, thank you, random person whose name and picture we don't know. So yeah, the feeder box. Yeah, like I said, there's, there's really nothing special to this. It's just, it's literally what that one story mission was. I just gotta occasionally fe uh, recharge a feeder box, and then get it back on the train tracks. Also, you have a shield. And now you don't. And that was a blast and bolt. <laughs> All right, uh, let's recharge. Get down here so we can recharge the feeder box. Also, there's some guys, we should probably take care of them first. Yep. All right, where's that box? There you are. And then all we have to do is just climb back on top. And get back to the train. Oh, God. Except they spawned more enemies. I was wondering, I was actually at a loss of words to say. Gotta keep the commentary train going. <laughs> commentary train. <laughs> uh, Alright. Time to just... First our way through. You have to think, maybe your glitch has occurred. Oh, and the train's gone. So yeah, see, the just a simple copy-paste. And now those enemies are gone forever, thank god. The trains are now running on this island. And this is my stop. So, this is Karakusha 9, and I'm not going to help you. And this is play, Let's Play Infamous. And in the next episode, well, we're going to be dealing with, I guess, more, more of the side missions. Um, basically taking on these southern ones right here, at least these two. I'll see you then, guys.